it's raining again, again and again and again. And it's windy and it's a good day to work on a glue book. Here's where I left off last week and I haven't really done anything here since. I haven't even cleaned up my stuff because I've had other things on the go and it's been that kind of week. I even have little bits here that I need to uh, just toss. So, one thing I wanted to show you was I went with the dollar store the other day, which is a surprisingly good place to pick things up. And I found these little packs of die cut paper shapes, which are great for people ages three and up, so I'm covered. And I got this one with the gold and the neutral colors, and I got the, this one in blue because those were the only two they had. And I thought, I'm going to use some of these. And I, it's such a gloomy day, and it has been like this for months, basically. So we've had this is like the coldest spring we've had on record and you know I'm just so done with it but you can't do anything about the weather we went on vacation a few weeks ago went down the coast to Oregon and whatnot and the weather was just as bad there it was cold and wet and it's like yeah it's wonderful to be on vacation but boy I could sure use the sun anyway um no point in griping even though I honestly I feel like it let's be just be fair Today I thought I would work on this page. I'm kind of intrigued by this old household budget. And I don't know if blue is going to go well next to this, but I kind of think, well, why not? However, just let me look in through the book here and see if there's somewhere else that might work better. This one's very neutral, so we'll just leave it as it is. I don't want to do that big one yet. I just don't have the energy today, to be honest. Well, here's some blue. Uh, maybe I'll work on this instead and do just a whole, a whole layout of these two pages. This is just a piece of. Oh, it's got a bit of watercolor on it, and I'm going to. I think I'm just going to put some of this pan pastel, which is a chalk. Um, just kind of. I don't know. Do do something like this. I don't want it to be covering the whole page, and I also kind of don't want it to go off the edge onto other pages. So this is just a little bit of a background. It might even get covered up, and I'll just throw some over here. Even though this is some um, watercolor dyed, so what I did was mi mix up a big puddle of watercolor using this blue and then soak my paper in it. So I don't know that that just gives a little bit of a backdrop for it and um, and it's easy to glue on and it's, it's not wet and you know and I, I haven't pulled out anything besides these little kits and what I had out here the other day so I'm going to open this up and take these pieces out come on staple wouldn't come out So I have these. Um, they're really sweet. I mean, look at that. The only thing I don't like about them is that they're they're heavy paper, which adds a lot of weight to the book. But that's that's okay. Can't do anything about it. So, and it's still worth it. Lots of butterflies and lots of glitter. Love I love glitter, as you probably know if you've followed me at all. Here's another. Oh, that's the same bird set again. Hydrangeas and those little guys, a sparkly blue rose, a basket of flowers. So there's lots in here. And then over here we have flowers. Little Oh, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I love pretty things. You know what? I sort of feel like my purpose in life is to, is to just add beauty wherever I go. And, you know, think of things that make life prettier and more peaceful and and I hope I do that I don't know oh look at these those are so cute I think I might need one of those in this project oh there's another one how nice oh okay I'm 
I'm getting inspired here. I would say this this glue book is kind of halfway be it between a glue book and a journal because I'm putting it together kind of like I decorate a journal, but um, I'm not putting in so much of the places to to write and that sort of thing. But I think what I'll do is use one of these, and I have some little little brads here. These little units are kind of useful. I bought that also at a dollar store. Oh, that's confetti. It's not what I thought it was. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So I've got these copper ones, but I also have blue ones. And I think I'll use a blue one. If I can get it out of here. There we go. Because that will really work. And have and this is iridescent glitter, so the blue it brings out the blue in it, which is really fun. And um, so where to start? Let me see. I'm not going to use that one after all. And I think I will use this one because it just looks a little bit bluer. And I better see what's on the back here so that it doesn't mess up. Oh, I see. Uh, this is some other pages that I've done. Well then, um, perhaps I need to put it on this page, although I kind of want it on this page. But the problem is when you poke it through you have to flatten these things out and it kind of, I'd have to go back in and um, put something over it in this area. And I guess I could do that later. I'll have to think about that. I want to use just kind of some random things here. There's a thread on that. That's weird. And I've got these, which I, I would like to use um, also. Not sure I want that one. Do the right thing even when no one is looking. That's good policy. So where to begin? I think I don't really want to introduce that color in there. So let me just see. Let's see what we've got here that we can introduce in the blues, since this is kind of a blue page. There's one. That's a nice one. That one's sort of blue purple. Here's a blue one. This one is perfect. I'll use it. So that's a good starting place. I also have this, which I made at a different time. Um, you know, you can make these little things and then just kind of keep them around and then they turn up again when you want to glue something or you want to make a journal or whatever. I like that. Here's something blue, the dog. Not sure about that one. Doesn't really go with the theme or the feel of it, you know what I mean? It's hard to find blue things because flowers don't usually come in blue. So that, you know, makes it a little bit trickier. There's something blue here. This is one of those seals that I made. All right, this is a good place to start anyway. Um, this has nothing on the, oh, it's just painted on the back. Well, that doesn't matter. I think I'll stick him in here right away. And this is going to be quite a glittery set here, which is um, my favorite thing ever. So, um, should I put that guy in there? Oh, bunny. Let's put the guy in. The fairy. Anyway, so what is new with you? You know, I would really like if you could answer this question. Do you like to work in a glue book in a color theme or a topic theme? Or do you care? Do you just do totally random? I tend to go with a color theme. 
because I'm kind of a color colorist when it comes to art. Color is my thing. And I love the play of colors off each other. These ones are, are going to be a little more monochromatic. That looks like a nice one to put right there. And I've got my handy piece of parchment paper. Oh, I've had trouble with my camera getting it to be in the right place. It took so long to set up properly, and then if I move it at all, I have to kind of start over and move the tripod and move the everything, the thing that holds the camera. I don't even know what you call that. Be kind, human. I am so behind that. Kindness is just the best thing. And so often we don't feel kind because, let's face it, people get on our nerves when we're tired. And, you know, sometimes you just have to not think about yourself so much. I have to remind myself that of that. I like this. Again, it's got a bumpy, a bu bumpy, um, border on it so it's going to need to be glued right out to the edges and once I do that then there's glue all over here so I have to use a different part of it next time I'll put it that way to remind myself that is so nice so nice so nice um, and you know what else I have hold on have these stickers they're like washi stickers which might that one might work here like I said not very much blue because there's only a few flowers that actually come in blue that one's pretty and doesn't really disturb the blue theme and then I have these which um, I've got a bunch of them in blue. So that comes in handy. I might as well just pull them all out here because they're different shapes and you never know which one is going to be the perfect thing. Plus I've got these which I cut out of a book or something. That gives me a little bit to work with anyway. To remember to put my lid on here. And I'm going to Make sure that's stuck down on the corners. And I'm going to put this on. Now with these, they're, they're um, that shiny stuff on the back. And to peel it off, you have to just run, it, run your thumb over the end of it. Because if you try and get a fingernail between these two layers, you'll go nuts. I'm going to put it over here and then deal with it. The reason I don't want it there is because of his cute shoes, so we'll do something different, like that, or that. And even this, look how pretty that is. That can go right up in there. I'll just put that right up in there right now. So I've been so busy. I'm, I'm, I'm busy trying not to be too busy. How does that sound? because I want to take life at a little slower pace, but I have lots of ideas and ambitions and plans. And then I go, oh, wait a minute, you're working too much. Life is not all about work. And I'm of an age where I don't want it to be all about work anyway. Oh, that's nice, look at that. It's a bicycle on it, how cute. Some days I work way too many hours. So I'm. this is a, a work in progress, you could say. I'm working at not working. How smart does that sound? All right, let's see what else we got over here. Got this little one. I kind of feel like I should be doing them both at the same time. However, 
suppose if I move all this stuff off, it would make more sense. But I do like that there. So um, let's go with that. And I have this blue teapot too, which is fun. So tell me what you do to keep your life kind of balanced. And, and if you're still a working adult, um, what do you do? How do you fit in things so that you actually can work on things like this in a relaxed way? I mean, this is to me is very relaxing. It's one of the reasons that I do it. It's like, okay, I can just do this. And I think, well, I might as well just film it and just talk. That doesn't require any great effort. Oh, do something blue. Kind of introduces yellow in there. Okay, now that I've put this down here, I have to deal with it. I think that looks good there. But you know what I'm going to do is do a little distressing with, with blue on the edges. Um, there's my little doodad here. So if you take a moment and look at the um, in the descriptions below, like where it says show more, and and YouTube has recently changed the look of the stuff that's underneath a video. And, um, I'm not sure I like it. I think it was clearer before. However, there's always a, a little there's a little link that says more. Um, I have a link there to my new Etsy shop. Now I have had a shop on my website for quite some time. And I decided to open an Etsy shop as well because it's like the difference between having a store in a mall, which is like Etsy, or having a store on a corner in a little neighborhood. So if you're on my mailing list at Summer Bay Studio, which you can you can go get on and there's a bunch of free stuff there, then you can you can find what I put on that store, which is a little bit different. I've got different stuff going on each one. So, and the reason for that is that some of the things I'm doing are, are print on demand where I, where I put my design on a product that then gets manufactured. And I've done that before and it's wonderful because then I don't have to ship things. The company ships them and they make such nice stuff and do such a nice job. However, not all companies work with, with the store that I have on my website. So, so, but if you're interested, there's both there. But like I said, on my website, if you get on the mailing list, believe me, I don't pester you, but I do send out things periodically. Well, every week I actually send out a newsletter and whatever's new and tell you about my video and other deals that I've found elsewhere. I don't think I'll be using that one. Seems like a little bit excessive on the flower front. Okay, now what's my story for this? I feel like I want to put it... You know what? I don't know. I just don't know. And I don't want to do all the same. I like this. Do great. Do small things with great love. And this can use some bluing around the edges as well. Although the edges are a little harder to deal with. Anyway, on my website, sorry that my train of thought wanders off. On my website, you can you can get free things. And I try to give free things every week. So by all means, if you're interested, go and just sign up there. And you know what to do. And if you find out that you don't like it, you can just unsign up. So, and I'm totally fine because I wanted I want to connect with people who want to connect with me, which is normal for relationships, right? But um, trust me, I don't overwhelm you. That does look quite good there. Now, which set of birds should I use in here? I like those guys. Oh, those are so cute. Little blue tits, I think they're called. 
and what does this say? Life is a journey and you hold the map. That's a good thought. If you can dream it, you can do it. I totally agree with that. All right. Oh, look, bluebirds and their nest. Okay, wait. We've got to pick one. Oh, that's the same. I think I like this one. Nope, I like that one. I have I have decided. However, uh, the other question is what to put in the rest of this page. And I do think that works. Maybe this one does too. No, it just doesn't work. It needs something. Oh. Let me look in my book. I've got some little blue tags there, but I think I've got enough tags to deal with. There's a blue gentian. These are blue, but they're big and they're sailboats, so kind of not, not a good match. Not too much in here. It's like I said, it's hard to get blue stuff. There's something blue right there. And I think there's a pot in here. Some blue flowers. Oh, there's a pot. Hold on. It's in here. Blue pot with pink flowers and a brown pot with blue flowers. All right, that's enough to kind of start with. I think I'll put that up there and then put this on it and put this on it. And, and then think about it. And again, I'll turn this around and put some glue stick on it because it's got this skinny handle and skinny spout and skinny thing on the top. Be very careful here not to tear it. That is perfect. There we've got that. Now this one I will use this glue even though it's uh, got a lot of little corners and whatnot because the paper is so stiff it needs a better glue. Like a stickier glue. So one of the things that I have planned is I want to do some some large paintings with acrylic paint. And depending how all that goes, I'll put those for sale in my Etsy store and I believe I'm going to do originals. That way you get an original painting. And I've been I've been kind of experimenting with abstract and especially florals. Those are pretty. What else we got in here? Oh, swirls. Look at these. These are different. That would look nice there. That would look nice there. And it's all about what looks nice. I think that's how we're going to play this. All right, let's do it. want to do some bigger paintings and I can just take over the living room and I don't have to clean up at the end of the day. I don't really have space anywhere else. I've given it a ton of thought and I have no space anywhere else in my life or in my town or that I've found anyway to paint bigger canvases. So the living room it is because that's the biggest floor space. that. So pretty. And now I only have this. Oh, I have this little guy too. I think I could stick him in there. Oh, I think I better use the other glue. 
anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm quite excited about that. I feel like this is a bit a bit plain but maybe I'll stick a butterfly on it well I found the perfect butterfly which was this middle-sized one I was hoping to find I think this is finished and I'm really happy with it I love the blues this is so pretty you know I just love pretty stuff as you well know and sparkles and all those things and blue is my favorite color please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that you can get the notifications when I have a new video which I do every week and also, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment and click the like button because that actually helps the algorithm help people find me and it'll, it's all good. And I'll see you next time.